Well, I've only gone and got another letter from TV licensing myself, haven't I? And this is one of the scary ones. Lovely. Hi, it's me again. I thought I'd have a little chat about one of the letters today. I'm pretty sure I've covered this letter not that long ago. But this is my own personal one. And I wanted to cover it. Because, um, you know, I do these videos a lot talking about the letters, don't I? And trying to make people feel better about getting them and to not be scared about them, right? And I never received them. I haven't received letters for years. Battles of Falls to Spain and everything. And I did do the no license needed exemption as well. So I didn't get any of the scary letters. Now I'm getting them again. I'm seeing them with different eyes, right? Because it's all well and good you sending them to me and I just read them out on here and I tell you it's not scary and all of that. But when you get them yourself, you do feel, I had a little pang with this, which is weird. This is me, right? I know the rules of this. I know what I can and can't do. I've helped loads of people. But it felt different getting the letter. It felt more serious getting it than just reading yours out. So to people who are new to TV licensing and stuff, I get that it can be scary. It's opened my eyes a little bit. It's been a while since I got the letters, you see. Yeah, it's an eye opener. Have a look. I'm, it's a, quite a common one, this, but I'm sure you've got it. Have a look. Dear Sir Slash Madam, as you have not responded to our letters yet, you have left us no alternative but to proceed with the final stages of our investigation. I've left them no alternative because I haven't responded to their letters. they got no alternative to, but to proceed to their investigation into my property. Have I not, do I have to respond? No, of course I don't have to respond. There's nothing saying I have to respond to you. I can ignore you. So by ignoring you, I've left you no alternative but to proceed with the final stage. What are the final stages of your investigation? They're just knocking on my door and asking if I watch telly. All right, so you're assuming I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing, which I'm not. I'm really not. I take it quite seriously. But who are you to assume I'm doing something wrong? It's just, it's wrong. It's just wrong, and it's written to scare you. An officer has been scheduled to visit your address to find out if TV is being watched, recorded, or downloaded illegally. The officer may visit your property any day of the week, morning or evening. Visit all you want, but I'm not going to talk to you, and you're not coming into my gaff, because I don't have to talk to you. There's nothing saying I have to talk to you. If I happen to be in, which would be rare at the minute because I'm quite a busy chap at the minute, but I hope I am in when they knock on the door. So I can open it up and I will go, hello, who are you? And they'll go, oh, I'm from TV Licensing. Don't I recognise you off YouTube? And I'll be like, no thanks, mate. And I'll shut the door. Because who are you? it's none of your business what I'm doing in my property. I'm not doing anything wrong. If I needed a television licence, I would buy a television licence. I don't need one. So I'm not going to buy one. That's your investigation over. Go away. The information below explains the procedure. You may refer to it during a visit from the officer. See, so visits are, they're not as common as you think, right? If you live out in the sticks like I do, and the little town or village or whatever you live in doesn't have that many license-free people, yeah, you might not get a visit. You might not get a visit because they've got to come all the way out for one address, just to get a door slammed in the face or the person might not be in or whatever. And they earn commission. It's a numbers game when you're in sales, isn't it? So they, they pick on the bigger towns, really, where they can knock on quite a lot of doors a day. So the odds of me, like I lived in a bigger town before and um, I, I had two visits over six years, something like that. And that was only because I completed the no license needed thing. This says to the legal occupier, they don't know anyone's in this address. So I live in a crappy little place out in the countryside in Essex. Are they going to waste their time coming from, what's it say here, the Cambridge, the Cambridge Enforcement Division? I'm not in Cambridge, I don't know why it'd be a Cambridge Enforcement but Let's say they're based in Cambridge, right? Uh, it's a long drive to where I'm sitting now. Are they going to waste their time for that? Because I'm not in a big village. So how many people in this village are TV licensed for? Not enough. I've spoken to a few. There are a couple. But, um, yeah. Are they going to waste their time coming out when they could head to a bigger, major town and knock on a load of doors? But anyway, it says there, you may refer to these notes during a visit from the officer. So they're teeing you up. They're teeing you up to expect a visit from the officer in the hope that this scares you into paying for a license. Even if you don't necessarily mean you might be scared. I can understand how this would scare you if you didn't know the rules. Because I felt it a bit, even though I've been doing this donkey's years now, haven't I? So what you need to know about the enforcement process. 
we can apply to court for a search warrant to gain access to your property. They love putting that in at the top. Love putting that in at the top because that's their big scary thing after knocking on your door, the search warrant thing. It's scary to them. But what they won't tell you here is that the current information that I have, and it might be a bit outdated, it might be wrong, but you know, obviously during the pandemic years, there was no search warrants issued and no one's coming into your home. It's started up again now, but the numbers from just before all that happened, there's about 100 a year. Now think how many households there are in the UK and they issue 100 search warrants a year. And bear in mind that to get a search warrant, you've got to have some kind of evidence that you're doing something wrong anyway. You can't just rock up in the court and ask for a search warrant for a fishing expedition. It doesn't work like that. So don't ever be scared by that. I know loads of people talk about it. It's nothing to be scared about. It's so, so rare. So rare. An officer may interview you under caution in accordance with national criminal law. Making out like their officer is something important. I don't have some kind of powers. My officers may interview you under caution. I can interview you under caution. It's just a thing people can do. And their enforcement officers, that's a made-up title that they made up for themselves. Like I call myself a burger inspector. It doesn't give me any powers when I go to Weatherspoons to go and have a look at the microwaves out the back, does it? It's meaningless. They are door-to-door -door salesmen. They write this in a way to scare you. I, I, I never understand how to get away with it. I never understand how to get away with it. But I quite enjoy getting the letters through my own post box because I see it with different eyes. When you're just sending them to me, I'm like, oh, she's got that. I'll read that one out tomorrow. When you get them yourself, you're like, how do they get away with it? Anything you say to the officer may be used as evidence in court. Well, there you go then. Just don't say anything to the officer. Done. Shut the door. You risk a fine of up to £1,000 plus any legal costs and or compensation you may be ordered to pay. Yeah, the maximum fine for being caught for TV licence fee evasion is £1,000. So two points there. One, the only way you can be caught is if you drop yourself in it by talking to one of their officers, their goons, their door-to-door -door salesman when they knock on your door. Now, I never condone watching stuff you shouldn't be watching without a licence. You know, you know me by now. I never, ever do, and I never will. But the only way they'd know if you were doing something you shouldn't be doing, is if you tell them. So if you just close the door and say, no thanks mate, they've got nothing. Nothing can happen. All prosecutions that come from TV licence offences come from people dobbing themselves in when a goon knocks on their door. There is no other way to get into trouble for this. But don't watch anything you shouldn't be watching if you don't have a licence. And the fine of up to £1,000, yeah, that is the maximum fine. But the average fine is about 150 quid. It's not far off the cost of a licence, is it? If your property needs a TV licence, you will still need to buy one. Right, so my property doesn't need a TV licence. You've threatened me with all this, and now it's saying if my property needs a licence, I'll still need to buy one after all of this. But what if my property doesn't need a TV licence now? Because it doesn't. Are you going to stop sending me this toilet paper? Oh yeah? Without me completing the no licence needed exemption? Because you can stop these by doing the no licence needed. And you have to do it every two years. For some reason, no idea why. I don't have to tell Amazon I don't want it every two years. But for some reason, you have to tell these people you don't want their services every two years. And that does stop most of the scary letters. But I think it guarantees you a visit. You know, because this is addressed to the legal occupier. They don't know anybody's in this property. I've not told them. I don't plan on telling them. But if I did the no licence needed thing for this address, they would know that somebody is in this property and somebody is willing to talk. And they reckon one in eight people declare it falsely. So we must pop round and check. You're, you're basically booking an appointment with one of the goons because they know someone's there, they know they're willing to talk, they know they're willing to engage, and they might get a sale out of it because they can talk to them. You might even get invited in. Don't do it. No more no license needed declarations. Just get the letters and throw them away. It is illegal to watch or record live TV programs on any channel or to download or watch BBC programs on iPlayer without a TV license. No matter what device you use, you still need to do one of the following. Buy a TV license or let us know you don't need one. Look at that. The very, very last line on this letter is let us know you don't need a TV license. Why isn't that at the very top? I mean, I don't understand why they're sending the letters anyway or how they get away with sending the letters. Why isn't the very top line of this, do you need a TV licence? If you don't, you can ignore this. If you do, yeah, we'd very much like to sell you one and we're happy to send a salesman round to sell you one in person. Why can't they just do that? 
Well, they'd sell less licenses, probably, is the way. But the whole of this, the whole thing until the very last line, is assuming I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. When I can own a TV, I can own laptops, I can own whatever I want, me phone the lot, without needing a TV license. A TV license is based on me using my stuff to access broadcast TV or use BBC iPlayer. I don't do any of those. I don't require a television license. And I'm not the only one in the country that doesn't. So how can you assume, when you send these letters out, that we do? Well, we just don't. Mad, isn't it? Let's have a look at the back, because I never see the backs of these letters, you know, because when you, you brilliant people who send them in to me, they normally just get the front, and I read that. There's nothing interesting on here anyway, to be honest, just about changing your... I can't show you it, because I haven't covered all the barcodes and stuff up, and if they clock it on here, they'll know my address, and then I'll be banging trouble with them, and I'll be getting flooded with knocks on the door by the goons. I think they... I'd be interested to know what would happen. Now, I probably will get a visit one day, but I'm, I'll be out of this place in a couple of months anyway, and hopefully into my new place. But I would be interested to know what would happen when a goon knocks on my door. And it's me answering. I'll still have my blue shirt on that I wear in 90% of the videos, because this is just how I dress on a daily basis. I open the door. Like, Hello, who are you? Oh, I'm from TV licensing. And, oh, I recognize I'd be interested. I'm not saying I'm famous or anything like that, but I know the goons know me. If you're a TV licensed goon, you know me. You must. You must, because I'm costing you money. Your mortgages and your rent isn't getting paid a lot of the time because of me, hopefully. And I hope to continue that. I hope to continue that massively. But, uh, yeah, it, I just it's interesting seeing it through different eyes, when, rather than just seeing the scans. When you actually get it yourself and it's got your address on it, you do feel a bit different. I understand how people... I really genuinely understand how you could be scared by these letters, but please don't be. They're just nonsense. Ignore the letters. Don't talk to them if they knock on the door. Duh. Don't worry about it. But don't watch anything you shouldn't be watching anyway. Let me know what you think about this. And if you've got any letters, you'll find out how to send them to me down in the links below. And as always, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Because that way, hopefully I'll see you in another video again soon. Ta-da.